Now that we know how to label crystallographic planes and draw them, let's practice sketching the atoms that are present on those planes. Let's start with a cubic system. Now, recall that when we say that there's a family of planes, a family of planes means that all the members of that family have the same atomic arrangement, right? The atoms are located in the same place. So for example, if we're talking about this far left plane over there, it would have the exact same crystallographic uh, arrangement of atoms as this plane over here. It would have the same crystallographic arrangement as this bottom plane, right? Because they're all members of the same family. So what we're going to do is we're going to show the different atomic arrangements present in three different crystal systems, FCC, BCC, and zinc blend. We're going to do that all on the 110 plane. So our first task is to draw the 110 plane, right? Where would the 110 plane be in this? We're going to work our steps backwards that we did for labeling a plane. So now that we've got our thing in round brackets with no commas, the next step would have been to get it to be integers, but it's integers. So the step preceding that was to take the reciprocal, so that's the same, it's just going to be 1, 1, and then infinity for that last one, 1 over uh, infinity gives you 0. Now we have to look at where it intersects these, so we need to have an axis for our origin, let's pick this one right over here, so that's our x, y, and z directions, right? So it intersects the x at 1, it intersects the y at 1, and it intersects, intersects the z at infinity, meaning it never does, so it must be running parallel to it. Therefore, we must be talking about this plane right there. You see it? The one that cuts the cube in half. That's the plane, the 110 plane that we're talking about. Now, we're going to draw the atomic arrangement for these three different crystal structures, FCC, BCC, zinc blend. Notice that when I have these templates here to draw them on, it's a rectangle, it's not a square. Well, that's right, because again, this distance right there, that is square root of 2 times a, but this distance right there is just a, so the bottom is longer than the sides. Okay, Let's start with FCC. We can see that in this thing, in that plane, what's getting in intersected? Well, on the corners and along the face we're going to have atoms, so it might be something like this. Okay. Right? It does not intersect these other atoms, so it's going to go straight through like that. That would be the FCC system. How does the BCC system look different? Well, it's going to look like this. Like that. Right? Because remember, they touch along this body diagonal. The atoms would be touching along that body diagonal. Now let's do this last one, the zinc blend system. So, if we draw this plane in there, it's going to have the ones on the corners and the tops and the bottoms, just like FCC, but it's additionally going to have these two gray atoms in the bottom. So we're going to draw whatever we had for the FCC. But now we're going to add these additional gray atoms that were down here. Okay? So that's an example of how you would uh, draw a plane from numbers, right? We were told 110, we drew it on there, and then by look, knowing what the crystal structure is, you could actually draw out the atomic arrangements on these.